Here's our next project, the hall bathroom. This should have been done two years ago, but because of our house getting hit with the tree, it keeps getting postponed. As you can see, there is nothing good about this room. The wallpaper is old. I think that vent up on the top, it's all rusted. It's probably from the 1960s when this house was built. The vanity isn't big enough for the kids. It has no storage space. And look, the wallpaper all fell off the wall. The molding fell off the mirror. One of the light bulbs is out. And you wanna hear the best part about this bathroom is this door. What do you think is behind this door? Is it a closet? No. Is it a bedroom? No. Here we go, ready? Here's what's behind the door. Our master bathroom with the only shower. So the kids use this bathroom and then they have to come into our bathroom to shower. And as you can see right now, our toilet is broken. So both bathrooms have to get done. The good news is that on this wall, our master closet is behind this wall. So this bathroom is going from a half bath to a full bath, and I'm gonna be able to stop sharing with my kids. It's demo day. So excited. Guess what we found out? Our walls were insulated, not with insulation, but with newspaper. I guess that explains why this room is always so cold. This used to be my master closet. Now it's gonna be a bathtub. What do you think of the paint color? Just kidding, it's Red Guard Waterproofer. And then our purple sheetrock over here is moisture and mold resistant. Spackle's going up tomorrow. It's gonna be done soon. It's done, it's finally done. I can't wait to share our bathroom with you. So here is the reveal. Everything is done except for the door which still has to be painted, but it has been raining nonstop, so that hasn't been possible. But let me show you our vanity. We got this one at Home Depot. It was a really great price. We got it on sale. It's got plenty of draw space for the kids. I'm gonna put two baskets underneath to hold extra towels and washcloths for the kids because they always forget to bring one in when they go into the shower, and then it's, Mama, I need a towel. So that way they'll always have access. And on this wall, we have some artwork and we have a Kohler toilet. I will put the name of this toilet in the comments because let me tell you, this is the best toilet I've ever had. I don't think much about toilets, but I must tell you, this one has like a super flush that's supposed to help the toilets stay clean and it totally works. I have boys, trust me, it works. And here's the shower that used to be our master closet. But this was totally worth the sacrifice. It is great that the kids have their own place to bathe and shower. We don't have to share a room anymore, which is wonderful. They have their own tub so that they can take lots of bubble baths, which they really enjoy. There's an extra large niche. One of my requirements was that the niche be big enough to fit all of the Costco shampoo bottles, and this one definitely does, which is perfect. On this side, we have the shower body. This is a pull down one so that I can rinse the shampoo out of the kids' hair. Plus, I love to have the pull down one to clean the tub. I think that is so much easier, so I love that. And simple controls here for the kids, simply left, right. The further left you go, the warmer it gets. They kind of like things still just warm to a little bit on the cool side, in my opinion. So that's perfect for them as well. And here on the close-up of the niche, you can see that rather than do tile, on the insides, we did just pieces of marble so that there would be no brow lines to get dirty. And that matches the threshold that comes into our bathroom. 
So you can see the artwork on the wall. I wanted to just tell you about that really quick. I love the gold accent. I wanted to do gold for the fixtures, but I'm afraid it's a trend that will go out of style. So we decided to do it only on the picture frames. And we have framed prints of some artwork by Nancy Tillman, who's one of my favorite children's authors. And she wrote a book called On the Night You Were Born, which I read to my kids every night when they were babies. So this was a really nice nod to their childhood and it makes me smile every time I see them. Now that this project is done, it's time for us to start our master bathroom renovation. So if you're interested in seeing another remodel, please like and subscribe, help us grow our channel and see some great reveals. Have a great day, thanks for watching, bye.